Hello. How is everyone? Okay, I see nobody is able to speak. So let's go ahead and get started then. We're going to start off by looking a little bit of information on geography. Let's watch the video and get to it. You ready? Welcome to one more section. Listen to the following vocabulary. Repeat it as many times as needed. Are you ready to learn new words? Listen first and then repeat each word. Beach, desert, forest, hill, island, lake, mountain, ocean, river, valley, volcano, waterfall. Okay. Are there any words you don't know? Any that you didn't understand? Hello, good evening. Good evening. All the vocabulary is okay? Yes? Beach. Yes. Yes, desert, all right, great. Well, that's going to help us a lot today because the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be taking a hill. Hill. Excellent. Let's take a look at a hill. Let me see. If I'll make the picture and I can show you. Volcano. Waterfall. All right. So a hill is this part. Is like here's the volcano, here is the mountain, and a hill is the smaller version. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? okay? Yes. Yes, it can. All right, excellent. Good. Any other questions? Anybody else? No. All right. So. No ones. Huh? No one's. All right. So let's take a look. We had a couple of days of vacation because of the long weekend. So the first thing we're gonna do is with our partners, we're gonna discuss, did you go to the beach? Did you go to the mountains? Did you go to a volcano? Did you see a hill? What did you do? Or maybe you stayed home, I don't know, but that's gonna help us with our vocabulary. So with our partners, super easy. Hey partner, what did you do? The idea is talking about the different activities. That's right. That's right. It's okay. Uh, yes, teacher. Yes. Great. Let's go for it then.
Okay, I see Alba only going to listen today. Don't worry. I'm going to get you into the group right now. All right, guys, so go ahead and tell me, what did your partner do? Did they stay home? They go, did they go to the mountains, volcano, um, where? Well, teacher Rodrigo told me that he had to work yesterday and he doesn't have a holiday, free holiday, he doesn't have. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, he had to work yesterday. From 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. Wow, Rodrigo, 12 <laughs> hours. He's tired. He's, he's tired today, teacher. Oh, I, I can believe it. I, 12 hours is a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I told him that, that, okay, Rodrigo, could you explain to the teacher the place that I visited yesterday, please? Go ahead, Rodrigo. Tell me. Uh, Nazario, she he visit Atikisaya. I remember uh, he say me visit Atikisaya. It's correct, Nazario. Yeah, it's true. It's true. A beautiful places. Uh, but I don't remember uh, what places. Uh, uh, the place is called uh, El Hicaro. El Hicaro. El Hicaro is one or two miles away from River San Lorenzo River. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's okay. It's so beautiful. I have to say, I don't know where that is. Yeah. Uh, do you know Atikisaya, teacher? I. It's going to in La Ruta to de Huachapan. Las Flores. It's going right? to. Yes. It's going to Huachapan. Yes. 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 Yeah. It's at the middle from Santa Ana to Huachapan. Okay. Yeah. It's after El Congo, right? Oh yeah, uh, maybe thirty miles away. Okay. Yeah, it's farther know. away than I thought. Okay. Yeah, it's true. This is the place that I visited uh, yesterday, Tisho. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, as you can see, the important is we are using the vocabulary for geography, mountains, volcanoes, lakes. All of these different things are what we want to discuss and try to use today. 
this is the focus. Today, we're going to go ahead and continue. We are on currently 4.2. We're going to be taking a look at it. Just a sec. Here we have. Okay. Uh, Nasario, can you please read what are we going to be looking at? Nasario, your microphone. I'm really sorry, teacher. Participants will listen to a conversation about geography. Comparison with adjectives will first be introduced. Correct. So we're going to be looking at adjectives. Remember, what are the adjectives? Things that describe the places like beautiful, uh, pretty, nice, calm, these types of things. Today, we're also going to learn a few more words to describe them and make comparatives. Okay, so let's take a look. Hi, guys. In the conversation we're about to listen to, the speakers use comparative adjectives. Do you remember how to compare? Stay around for the explanation. It is important to practice and understand the conversation. Listen and practice. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know. Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Woo! All right. Let's take a look. So as we can see, we have quite a few different words. All of the words begin with uh, adjectives, the ones that we're looking at. The adjectives, for example, large, long, uh, crowded, all of these are different adjectives. Only that today we're learning how to make comparatives. We can use ER, like in the case of uh, larger when it's two. We can use EST, like in the case of longest, when we're talking about a big area, like all, all of America. Or we can use more when we're talking about things that are for two, but a little bit different. The word is bigger, the original word. Words that are small, only ER. Let's see and if we have any more information to help us understand. La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay. So we're gonna be looking at describing different places, different cities, okay? Here, we're going to be looking at how to ask and answers about comparisons. Like in El Salvador, right? If I say, oh, which beach is nicer? Which mountain is cooler? Which city is more crowded or less crowded? This is the idea to talk about geography and different places. Okay. So remember, first, you need an adjective, the description. Then, if we're going to compare, we're going to use ER. I put in the chat to help you. ER or more is used for describing two things, right? We're going to use EST, okay, or most when we describe three or more things, okay? That's going to help us a little bit better. Hello and welcome back. Remember there are different types of adjectives? That's right. We have short adjectives, long adjectives, and irregular adjectives. With that in mind, now we'll study the superlative of adjectives. Please stay around and pay attention to the explanation as well as the audio program. Comparisons with adjectives. Which country is larger, Canada or China? Canada is larger than China. So if you can see here on the right, we have a lot of adjectives. 
like I said, the adjectives, the originals are the words that describe, like the example, long, dry, big. And then when comparatives is for two things, superlatives is for three things. If you look, words that are only one syllable or small words, only we put ER or EST. Words that are large, we put more or the most. Let's look at some more examples. Which city has the largest population? Tokyo, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? Tokyo has the largest population of the three. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Adjective, comparative, superlative. Long, longer, the longest. Dry, drier, the driest. Big, bigger, the biggest. Famous, more famous, the most famous. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Good, better, the best. Bad. Worse, the worst. Let's review comparative adjectives. We use the comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. They are used in sentences where two nouns are compared in this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus than plus noun or object. Let's not forget what happens with short, long, and irregular adjectives. Study this chart and take notes as you do so. Take a look at these examples. They are applying the rules. My house is bigger than her house. His room is tidier than her room. The red car is more expensive than the blue one. Ready to learn about superlative adjectives? Superlative adjectives are used to describe an object which is at the upper or lower limit of a quality. They are used in sentences where a subject is compared to a group of objects. Follow this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus the plus superlative adjective plus noun or object. And study the chart. Just as comparative adjectives in superlative form, we also have short, long and irregular adjectives, which you need to take into account when using them. Examples, he is the tallest of his family. Michael Phelps is the fastest swimmer in the world. Canada is the biggest country in North America. Can you write one sentence using good in its comparative form? Now write another sentence using good in its superlative form. Write both sentences in our discussion box. Okay. Now, in this case, what's going to help us is the fact of our recent vacation. It makes it easier for us to understand and use. What we want to do is we want to describe different places in El Salvador, but we want to also compare them to other places. As an example, the beaches, okay? What's good about the beach? Which beach is nice in El Salvador? El Tunco, teacher. El Tunco, okay, good. We have a beach very famous, El Tunco, and another beach. What's another? Ma, el Mahawal is el Mahawal. Really famous. Okay. So we have El Tunco and Mahawal. Which beach for you is better? For me, El Tunco, teacher. El Tunco, why? Uh, because it, it has uh, a beautiful beach. Uh, uh, a lot of restaurants, uh, delicious food, uh, seafood, mm -hmm. and a lot of things that I'm, I consider that they have in the beach. I oh. think so. Okay. And it's not it's not really expensive. It's in, it's in the middle of the coast. I think so. Okay, good. Now, here is the difference. If you listen, 
he's giving me a lot of descriptions, no comparisons. The descriptions is nice, has a lot of restaurants, is pretty. These are only descriptions. These are adjectives. Comparison is the same vocabulary, but we use to show the demonstration between two. For example, El Tunco has more restaurants than the others. The uh, Mahawal has nicer beaches than El Tunco. This is the idea for using comparatives and superlatives. It's different than just using adjectives. Adjectives only you describe the thing or the place. Comparatives is you want to see the difference between the two places. Mm -hmm. It's okay that the ideas for comparatives? Yeah, it's right. Yes, teacher. Great. So we're gonna take a look and we're gonna try a little bit of it, right? We're gonna try to describe a few places that we visited or a few places around El Salvador, things like that. But also we're gonna practice uh, to make sure that it's clear on how we use it, how we can use comparatives and superlatives. I'm gonna give you a small um, link, well actually two links, hang on. Let me copy and put it into the chat so that you can practice with your partner. There's number one, and there's link number two. The idea is for the two links is to make sure that you understand the difference. When do we use one of the things? And when do we use the other one? When you feel that, ah, I have it. You, you and your partner says, okay, I understand the difference. Then, we're going to do link number three. So link number one and two is to help us understand and make sure it's clear. And then we do link number three if we are secure about it. To do link one, two, and three, we're going to have 10 minutes. 10 minutes to do the three links. Okay. It's okay? So, so? Yeah, it's clear. Clear, all right. Let me make sure because I see we have a few people that cannot participate today. Um, I think some people are at work. So we want to make sure that it's okay. Hang on, we'll put one and one. I'm trying to put um, most people and one oyente in each one. All right, there we go. Okay, so did you open the links? Because remember, when we open the groups, then we cannot open the links after. Yes, everybody has the links. We are ready. We are ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Yes. Uh, uh, may you put the links in the in the chat uh, WhatsApp group, please. And God, I'm not in WhatsApp, I'm on the computer, but is there anybody in WhatsApp that can copy right now? I can share in the group. Thank you, Jonathan, I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and copy it, Jonathan, and share it to the group. Yeah, right now. All right, thank you. All right, guys, 10 minutes, complete the three links.
Luisana, are you having problems connecting? Luisana. Okay. Yes. Okay. The and what is is, um, the easiest? Uh, the easiest. The easiest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your car is more expense, expensive. Uh -huh, your car is expensive. Okay. Your car is your car expensive. Is expensive. Is more, expensive. more expensive. Than... This. More expensive than... ¿Cuál es el otro que no alcanzo a ver? The most uh, no veo. Si lo sube, tal vez un poquito, porque no veo. Ahí, ahí. The most expensive, tal vez. Ok, I try. The most expensive... The car is... Is more expensive. Uh, I think so... I think this is a key. Anna, you okay? Anna. Anna, Anna, Anna. Hello. Hello, Ana. You disappeared. Estoy, estoy trabajando sola porque no, no, mi compañera no me responde. Entonces estoy trabajando en los links que envió en el chat. Don't worry, Ana. I'm going to put you to another group because Carla eh, can't speak. So let me try. I send you to another group. Okay, Ana? Okay. Okay. Let's try another one. to hear you it's good to hear you Anna okay okay number Venus is it's hot. Hot. It's hot I think so I don't know <laughs> maybe Venus is Hotter Today is the the best day of the year. Yeah, Mercury is the hottest planet in the solar system. Mm -hmm. Mercury, yeah. I am tall. I'm taller because it's a comparison with me and my sister. I'm taller than my sister, but that is the tallest person in our family. Not in my case, because I am the tallest. But the snakes and lizards are slowest. Hello. Is that me? 
is uh, um, from Sudamerica is more must bigger uh, or more bigger I don't know what no, because it's a brand of mouse, no, but they eat. Almost big. Almost big. No, creo. Pero dejámoslo así, aunque no creo. Today is a good day. Today is. Okay. So, stop right now. Better day, maybe. Sorry, teacher. It's okay. No, no problem. Okay. So, is remember that if you use more or most, you, mm -hmm. cannot, you cannot use est or er. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay. It's one or the other is not together. But is correct uh, to tell more big? No. Most big me no. No, because no. big is a small word. And small words do not use more and most. Well, big words use more and most. Small words use er and est. Cuando es más pequeño. Uh huh. No, no. The, the words, for example, look, Carla, look, for example, big, big, beautiful, three. The syllables, if have three syllables, two syllables, you use more or most. But words with one syllable only use ER or EST. Mm. For example, fast, fast, no more fast. It's only faster, one syllable, one syllable, Okay. This is a common number two. Uh, for example, big guest. Porque, eh, una sílaba. This is on a, a big. Mm -hmm. big okay. And Argentina and Colombia are two things or three things? Three things. Mm -hmm. Then EST. But Argentina and Colombia, how many countries? Ah, uh, ER. ER because, because only two countries. In two things. Exactly. And okay. then comparative with the country. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Because it's more beautiful. Because it's superlative and comparative. We have to write the correct form in the space. Mm -hmm. Number one, more beautiful than one. More beautiful. More beautiful. Let me see. Very beautiful. Hey, what's up? Okay, I, I return. Okay, so now we have a better idea of how to use ER and EST. The important part is when we use ER and EST, we have some specific rules. Remember, if the word is a big word, we use more or most. How do you know it's a big word? is with the listening, the syllables, okay? So as an example, the syllable, when we have the word fast, big, okay? These are one, one syllable, big, not pronounced big, but only one. When we have words that are two or three syllables, for example, intelligent, Ah, then we use more or most. If I say beautiful is three, so we use more or most. 
okay? He, he or she is more beautiful or the most beautiful. If I say the words are small, okay? Then we only put in the words ER or EST. Is that better? That's clear. Okay, any questions for anybody? For example, teacher, uh, the, the, the word expensive, uh, the word have four syllables. Uh, mm. I use more or most. Correct. This is correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. This is the idea. Okay. I like the hamburger, teacher. Uh-huh. What happened with the hamburger? Tell me. Uh, biggest. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, correct. Use EST at the end. Big, biggest. Yes. Correct. This is the idea. Okay. So now... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Any questions? Anything that is not clear? At the moment, all is clear. All is clear. Okay. I know some, some partners didn't have a chance to finish, but don't worry. The idea is to help you to make sure that it's clear for you. So right now we're going to practice a few more links. The idea is I saw a little bit of confusion. That's why I wanted to explain. Remember, is not correct the two in the same sentence, okay? If I say more intelligent, that's it. If I say more is the more and the most intelligent, no one more intelligent and the other intelligenter. No, is one decision is the decision, okay? To help us practice, there are more links in the chat. We have four links in the chat for those that didn't finish. And we're going to try to complete those, those extra links for 10 minutes. We're going to have 10 minutes just to continue because I saw a little difficulty. Okay. Open 